Okay, in this video today we are going to go over how to upload video into the case file. Right now I am in my demo account and case file is Joseph Brian Snow and first thing I'm going to do is go over to the files drop down box. I will click this and go over to video. It's going to take me to the video section right now. I don't have any video uploaded so what I'm going to do is click on the upload video button over here on the right. It's going to bring up another box. Now two things I will need to add before uploading the video is I have to select the scheduled date. So I'm going to select the July 27th date here and it's going to populate uh, the 27th under video taken. Right now they are required fields. Um, the video taken date can be changed to not be required um, under the settings tab. So first thing we look at are these check boxes over here. Process, merge, remove, and add timestamp. Now if you the investigator is processing their video and adding the date and timestamp on their own, whether they're using iMovie or they're using Dazzle outside of the system, then if that's already done, you don't need to have any of these checked. Now, if this is raw data, then these boxes will need to be checked. So process video and then remove audio. And then right now I have this as default check to add the timestamp. That can also be changed in settings, which I will go over in another video. So merge video is if an investigator has multiple clips. Some investigators like to uh, start their, record their video and stop their video every 30 minutes, every 45, every 10 minutes, however they want to do it. So if that's the case, they need to upload multiple clips, they would hit merge video and then load them all in here. In this case, I'm just going to upload one. So I'm going to uncheck this. Uh, remember, time zone needs to be verified. So I am currently in Central Standard Time. I will add America slash Chicago. So one of two things to add videos to this queue right here. So I can either have a file explorer on my computer. I can have it over here and I can simply drag and drop. Or I can click the add files button and it's going to open up a file explorer anyways and I can select it from there. So once I have the video in here, I'm simply going to hit start upload and it's going to start this process. Uh, this shouldn't take long at all. This is a small video. Usually the processing process of date and timestamp removal and also removing the audio can take anywhere from 5, 15, a little bit longer depending on the length and the quality. Is it a 4K video? Um, so once it's done, simply click done right here. Okay. And it's going to take a little while for the video to show up in here. So we will go back to case details to refresh the page. So right now it's currently in the it's currently in the processing status. So right now it's in step two of three. What's, what's it's doing right here is changing the file format to MP4. Like I said, this process can take anywhere from five to 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the length and quality of the raw footage. Once it's done, you will be able to view the file. You will be able to download it and also uh, make, make it visible to the client as well. There will also be an edit box to where you can edit the summary over here, or you can edit a few more fields. Okay, after a few minutes, this video has been successfully uploaded and processed. Uh, like I said, uh, once it's done and completed, you have a couple options. One, whether or not you want to make this visible to the client. Now by selecting this and making it visible, this video can now be sent in an email from the system as a link. 
uh, through the video updater template in the email section. Now if I click this I, I can simply view the video. It will open up in a separate screen. I can view the video. I can download it right here. And this was the edit box I was talking about. Through the edit box, you can name this file differently. You can choose, you can add a different scheduled date if you want. And then also you can add a summary. So in this case, I will add test video. So the audio has already been removed from this video and the timestamp has been added. So there's no need for that. So we can quickly, simply click submit. And my summary showed up here. And it's currently visible to the client. If there are any questions, please feel free to reach out. My email is patrick at crosstracks.co or you can submit a support ticket as well and we'd be happy to assist.